Okay, so there isn't much love for Zayn within the Borderlands community. I mean, Ali gets slated a lot for not actually being able to do the amount of damage we see the other classes and their builds do. Over the past few days, I've been working on a build for Zayn, which I believe is up that way. I wouldn't say it's on par with these builds we see for other characters, but it's definitely the best I've seen so far for Zayn in terms of damage output. And that DPS. How's it going, guys? My name is DP Jen. I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. And if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe. Also, guys, I'm giving away copies of Borderlands 3. To win one, make sure you are subbed to this channel and have that bell notification button checked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Now, Zayn, when it comes to builds for DPS, the more or less non-existent especially when you try and compare them to the builds we see for other characters Moors, Flak and Amora they're all capable of much better DPS than Zayn is now over the past few days I've been working on a build trying to maximize DPS for Zayn and I believe I've hit the jackpot this is definitely the best I've seen and maximum DPS I've seen Zane do from any build I have saw. Check out this clip of me fighting Grave Ward on Mayhem 3. Now I will admit the weapon you are seeing there is the Ferocious Layuda, I mean a lot of you guys would have guessed that. And it's a 92 Zane, while Sentinel is active, gaining 50% of damage as bonus cryo damage. And this does help, it really does. But that's basically the only thing I had besides, I believe, a car, no, an artifact, which gives me a plus 40 magazine size. Nothing else in reality here gives me plus damage besides my build, which I'll show you guys in a second. I mean, I've seen grenades out there that once they hit a target, you deal bonus damage for a short time, which can seriously help out. So let's check out the build I have made. Now, as you can see, people, I'm using all three trees because what I found was going through all three trees, most of Zane's extra damage and the additional damage he can deal is based on speed. So I've worked with basically all three trees, trying to maximize perks in terms of making him move faster and damage output. So let's get into it. Okay, so first we're going to start on a Sentinel. And I am using Sentinel as an action skill in my slot 2, which would be my grenade mod. Okay, so firstly, we have Violent Speed. After killing an enemy, Zane gains increased movement speed for a few seconds. Put 5 points straight into this. Then we have Cold Bore. Zane gains increased weapon swap speed. And the next shot fired after swapping weapons deals bonus cryo damage. Then we have 5 into Violent Momentum, with 2 additional coming from my class mod. Zane's gun damage increased while moving. The quicker he moves, the greater the gun damage bonus. And it's all about this mod, people. Using this and other perks which allows Zane to move quicker, it's a win-win. Next on the list, we have Death Follows Close. All of Zane's kill skills gain increased effect and duration which you can't go wrong with. Now the perks I've selected to work along the action skill are Bad Dose. Sentinel occasionally shoots out a beam of radiation that weakens enemies and buffs Zane. For every weakened enemy, Zane's movement speed and fire rate are increased. Weakened enemies have a decreased movement speed and attack speed. Again, working on that speed. And then we have this. Sentinel emits a static field that sends a shock beam to nearby enemies, draining their shields and replenishing Zane's, which is Great. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next tree, and here we have Synchronicity. Five points added here. Whenever one or more of Zane's action skills are active, he gains increased gun damage for each action skill. Again, extra gun damage is what we need. Then we have Prayer Munitus, I believe that's pronounced. Not sure, probably wrong as always. 
Zane and his Digiclone gain increased magazine size. Don't worry about the Digiclone, we just want Zane's increased magazine size. Then we have Borrowed Time. Zane gains increased action skill duration for every active action skill. 5 points added here. We then have Donny Brock. Whenever Zane kills an enemy, he and his Digiclone receive increased gun damage and gain health regeneration for a few seconds. Gun damage plus 19%. 5 points stacked in here. And then we have next on the list, Supersonic Man. Whenever one or more of Zane's action skills are active, he gains increased movement speed for each active action skill. I get plus 2 here on my class mod and I've added 3 points myself. And this was the other mod that was on my uh, class mod but isn't needed at all. So if you can find a legendary class mod which does benefit this build, be my guest and use it. Okay, so next up we have the barrier and we also use this as an action skill. Okay, so we have adrenaline. Zane gains increased action skill cooldown rate. This bonus is based on the amount of shields he has. The more percent full, the greater the bonus. We then have rise to the occasion. Zane gains health regeneration. The lower his shield is, the higher the bonus. And then we have Confident Competence. While Zane's shield are active, he gains increased gun damage and accuracy. This bonus is based on the amount of shields he has. The more percent full, the greater the bonus. Now the action skill pairing I use here are Charge Relay. Whenever Zane or an ally touches the barrier, they gain increased movement speed and reload speed for a few seconds. That's what we're after. And then we have this. Zane's barrier becomes a drum covering all sides, which is pretty cool too. And that is it, people. That is the build you saw me use when I absolutely destroyed Brave Ward. Now, you can work upon this build if you do want to farm. I mean, there are plenty of uh, shields out there that could help you. There are plenty of grenades out there that could improve this uh, build well, with damage output, etc. There are other artifacts as well. So there are plenty of things you can do to improve this build, guys. But yeah, I am pretty happy with it. Before this, I did have a semi-decent DPS build as well, which worked solely on the Sentinel and the, uh, what's this one called again now? Digiclone. I wasn't using any of the barrier at all. But yeah, it wasn't, it was okay. It, to be honest, it was good, but it wasn't as good as this. The damage output wasn't quite there. This one, I believe, just tops it. Now, if you have a better DPS build for Zane, please let me know what it is. You can tweet me, like I said, at dpjsc08, linked within the video description. I apologize for sounding tired. I am tired. I've got a flu. My nose is killing. My throat's sore. Well, it is what it is. But yeah, guys, this is my DPS build for Zane. Probably the best I've seen so far. Now, before we do end the video, we'll run back through Grave Ward, uh, me explaining exactly how you make the most out of this DPS build for Zane. Basically, the build is worked on making Zane move as quick as he possibly can. To trigger his speed, the main cause is to use both action skills. But if you do have a legendary artifact, which gives you plus, uh, there's some of them with for Zane I've had, which are plus 10 uh, movement speed. I may have had this one on here, which you can see me absolutely murdering Grave Ward. But there are other things you can do as well, which actually help increase DPS for Zane. There's certain grenades out there that when you hit a target with said grenade, you will do more damage up to 25% for about 7 seconds, I believe. But yeah, this build is basically all about making Zane move quicker. Now, there's another skill on one of the skill trees that I did cover, which getting a kill also makes you move quicker. Now, if Grave Wars little enemies were here, I mean, we get a kill on one of them, you'd move even quicker, doing more damage. So yeah, basically this uh, build is based on making Zen move as quick as he possibly can, maximizing DPS. So yeah, guys, that is that. This is the build I believe is the best so far, well, definitely the best I've seen so far for maximum DPS. And on that note, guys, I am out. So I do hope you enjoyed the video. I really do. Thanks, as always, for stopping by. If you do enjoy daily Borderlands videos and you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.